Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have all new fall Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. I have been so excited to share this video with you guys because I truly, truly love each and every craft in today's video. I really hope that you guys are going to love these as much as I do. They're all very easy to recreate, but they are also going to have a beautiful high-end feel to them. For this craft, I'm going to be using five of these pumpkin tea light holders from Dollar Tree. I ended up picking up three of the burnt orange and two of the blue. I really loved this color combination. It's kind of a little bit different and unique. Also going to be using some E6000. So to get started, I want to go ahead and just remove the stickers on the bottom. I'm going to take my E6000 and just put it around the edge of my first orange pumpkin. Now I'm going to take one of my blue pumpkins and add it on top. I'm using E6000 because I really want that strong permanent hold. And you can use hot glue, but E6000 is going to cure and when it's dry, it's going to be a lot stronger. I just added some more to my second pumpkin and then added my third pumpkin on top. Now you want to let this dry overnight so it is nice and secure. That is my first pumpkin stack and for my second one, I'm just going to be doing one blue one on the bottom and then one orange on top. And here they are the next day when they were completely dry and I'm going to go ahead and just add in a tea light candle from Dollar Tree. I prefer the flameless, but you can definitely just use a regular tea light as well. And here is how these turned out. I am completely obsessed. I think that these are so beautiful and so easy to put together, but by stacking them like this, it just makes them feel a little extra special. For this next DIY, you're going to want to grab a canvas or two from Dollar Tree and you can find these in their crafter square. So we're actually going to be doing a reverse canvas. So to do that, you just want to take a craft knife like I'm using here, or if you prefer, you can just remove the staples. We basically just want to get the canvas off of that wood frame. And then we're going to reverse our wood frame. So we have this side here that does not have any of those staples in it. And this is going to be the frame of our new art print. And then we're just going to basically glue or staple the canvas to the back. And you can use either side of the canvas. You can have the plain side, but I actually found that I preferred the inside of the canvas. It had a beautiful warm color to it. And I thought that it would be just perfect for this DIY. I want to add some color to my frames though. So I'm actually going to use this home decor wax. I'll leave this link down below. I just ordered it from Amazon. And basically this just takes the place of a stain. It is very easy to work with. I just put some on a paper towel and kind of just rub it back and forth. You want to let this dry for a few hours and it's going to give you the look of a stain, but it's very easy to use. It's kind of just like working with paint. You do want to put some parchment paper down. It gets a little bit messy, but I love the finish of it. So now we have to attach the canvas to the frame and I'm just going to be putting some hot glue on mine here. Like I said before, you can definitely staple this as well if you have a staple gun, but I found that the hot glue works pretty well. I do have the Gorilla hot glue sticks in my hot glue gun. I'll leave those linked down below as well. I feel like they give you a stronger hold, so I like to always use those for my DIYs. If you are using glue like this, when you do flip it over, you want to be sure just to apply some pressure all around so it does adhere to the canvas. Now we are going to have a little bit of extra canvas that we do have to trim off and you can use scissors for this. I'm going to go ahead and just use my craft knife and just go around the edges. Just be careful not to puncture the inside of your canvas. Now these are ready to decorate or paint. You can use Cricut vinyl for this. I found these two wall decor pieces at Dollar Tree and I just fell in love with them as soon as I saw them. I knew they were beautiful. I wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do with them. And then I thought of this craft and I thought it would just be the perfect way to showcase these items. I applied a generous amount of hot glue to the back of my leaf and then just attached it to the center of my canvas. Then I just followed those same steps for my pumpkin. I think that a bow would be a wonderful addition to this craft, especially at the top, maybe just some twine, a really simple bow, but I wanted to keep mine kind of rustic and simple feeling. I just thought that it had such a beautiful feel to it just like this. And this is how I ended up styling them. I love the look and feel of these. Very simple, but definitely just kind of flows really naturally with my existing decor. And I just love the look of these. 
For this next DIY, we are going to be creating a large art piece. And there are a few different ways that you can take this DIY. I'm going to share a few different ideas with you and what I ended up going with. In addition to the pumpkin placemat from Dollar Tree, you're also going to need a 16 by 20 canvas. Now you can order these from Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. I'll be sure to link them down below. Now, if you want to, you can just attach the pumpkin to the canvas just like this. I did a very similar craft to this over the summer using the gold leaf placemat from Dollar Tree. And all you have to do is just add some hot glue to the back and attach it to your canvas and you have some beautiful art. Another option is to paint the placemat before you attach it to your canvas. And the third option is to do what I'm doing today and actually just use the pumpkin as a stencil. So what I wanted to do was kind of just make a really fun and abstract pumpkin print. And you're going to see it's definitely a work in progress along the way. It's going to look a little bit worse before it looks better. So what I just did was take a sponge paintbrush here and just mix a bunch of different fall colors. I really loved the blue this year for fall. I thought it was so beautiful and it kind of just mimicked the blue in the first DIY that we created with the candle holders. And then once I painted all around, I just went ahead and filled in some of those spots. Then I took a paper towel and just went over everything to add a little bit more texture and color. And now we're going to go ahead and just remove our stencil. And remember, I said abstract, so it's not going to look perfect here. We do see the outline of the pumpkin, but what I really love about this is you're going to have a lot of varying colors and textures. And now just to define it a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and just get some gold puffy paint. I'm really going to define the shape of the pumpkin, but also it's just going to give some really fun gold accents along the way. So first I started by just going around the edge of my pumpkin just to give it that definition. And then I went into the painting and just started to play around with it. I outlined some of those larger ovals that we created with the paint. I just went ahead and filled in little areas that I thought needed a pop of gold. And I really do like the look of abstract paintings. I have one hanging in my living room all the time above my console table. If you prefer something a little bit more traditional, definitely think about just adhering the placemat to the canvas like I did with the gold leaf print because that truly does look gorgeous. And if you don't love that bright orange color, like I mentioned before, you can definitely paint it beforehand. Spray paint would be a great option, but you can definitely just hand paint it as well beforehand, any color you like, and then let it dry and attach it to the canvas using hot glue. My final step was just adding some puffy paint to the center to define the curves of the pumpkin. And here is how it turned out. This is perfect just like this, but if you do want to add a frame, they actually are very inexpensive on Amazon. There are some wonderful options. I picked up this one here for around $16, which is a really good price for a frame. It's very easy to attach it to the canvas. You actually just use Velcro. It is super simple. It comes with the directions and I will be sure to link everything down below in the video description box as well as in the comments. And adding a frame to it just makes it feel so much more professional. And for $16, I definitely think it's worth it. I already have a spot in mind where I want to display this for my fall decor. So definitely stay tuned for my decorate with me video. That should be coming out very soon. Next up is a super simple two minute DIY. I'm going to get started with these two beaded pumpkins from Dollar Tree. You guys might remember these from my shop with me video. I picked these up immediately. I thought that they were so pretty. They had a few different colors. I just went with the natural ones here. Now all you want to do is just grab some raffia or ribbon and just create a little bow around the top of it. I just decided to use raffia since these beaded pumpkins were nice and natural already. I just felt like it would work well with it. But if you go with one of the painted pumpkins, I think ribbon would be beautiful. Next up, we're just going to need some flameless candles from Dollar Tree and these come in a two pack. You can find these in their candle department and just turn on your tea light and add it to the center of your pumpkin. It is that easy. These are so cute. In just a couple of minutes, we have transformed these pumpkins into little light up decor pieces. I am obsessed with how easy they are and these would be perfect for a Thanksgiving tablescape as well.
DIY, I'm going to be using three of these wooden crates from Dollar Tree, and you can find these in the crafter square at Dollar Tree. So we are going to be painting all three of them a different color, but I will be using this white chalk paint as my base for all three of them. And this is my favorite white chalk paint, hands down. I use it for all my DIYs. I'll make sure to leave this one linked down below. It's just from Amazon, but it comes in a nice big tub here and it lasts forever but I love how quick and easy the white chalk paint covers up projects. It's very easy to work with. So for my first one, I just went with the natural white. For my second crate, I mixed in a little bit of this light green color. And then for my third one, I'm going to mix in a little bit of blue. Again, I wanted to kind of mimic the colors that we used in some of our other DIYs so they would all kind of flow together nicely. Now that my crates are all painted and dry, we do have to attach them together. And hot glue is going to be perfect for this, but when we do glue them together, be sure to stagger them like this because we will be adding some flameless candles to these as well so we can light them up from the inside. So we want to make sure to leave enough room that we can slide a flameless candle into it. Added some hot glue to half of my first white box here and attached it to my green box. I'm just going to add hot glue to half of the blue box and attach it to the white one. Now that we have all of our pumpkins glued together, we have to give them a stem. And I actually did pick these up in the crafter square at Dollar Tree. They are little pre-cut stems, but if you can't find these ones at Dollar Tree, you can definitely just use a stick from outside, just trim it down with some snips and it will work just as well. So I'm just going to pick out three stems and hot glue them to the top of each box. To finish it off, I'm just going to take some raffia and just wrap it around each stem and then go ahead and trim it. If you want to add some leaves, I think that would be beautiful as well. You can just pick up some faux leaves at Dollar Tree in their floral department and hot glue those to your stems as well. So these are my tea light candles from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead, turn them on, and then just wedge them right into the pumpkin. These Dollar Tree tea lights are great. They have a gorgeous flickering light to them, but Amazon does actually sell tea lights with a timer built into them. So if you're interested in those, I'll be sure to link those down below. That way you just Turn them on once and they're on for six hours and then turn off for 18. That way you don't have to do it manually every single time. You just do it once and kind of just forget about it for the rest of the season, which is really nice. And these really become magical once it starts to get a little bit darker outside. You can see them light up and flicker and they just have a really beautiful glow. And that is everything for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these fall Dollar Tree DIYs. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to share it with a friend and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel and it lets me know that you are enjoying the video. Thank you so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here.